uh, many pra uh, practice problems involve uh, functions of several variables. Uh, for example, uh, the area of a triangle depends on its base length and its height. The volume of a rectangle depends on the, the length, the width, and its height. That's the, uh, that's the examples of several variable functions. Uh, first, we define the function of two variables. Function of two variables. That is a rule that assign each point x of y to a real number f x y, where x y is point uh, in some set of d. The D is a subset of R2, black X O Y plane. And the F is the mapping from D to R. We always write write Z equals F X O Y. Here the D is a subset of X O Y plane. Uh, the X O Y plane is the R2, the space of R2. <coughs> we call the D is the domain. And uh, all uh, and uh, all values. Of f x y is the range, the range of f. Uh, generally, we don't specify the domain, but actually, uh, the d is the uh, uh, in default. The d is the all the the all points. Uh, on which f uh, f x of y makes sense. The d uh, in general uh, generally d generally d is a set on which f makes sense. We, we don't specify the domain, but in some times we, we specify the domain and D. But in general, we, we, don't, we don't specify the domain. And uh, X, Y called the independent variable. Independent variables and z called the dependent variable that's the a function of two variables uh, similarly we can define the We can define function of three variables. And uh, uh, multiple variables, the function of multiple variables. Uh, in the function of uh, several variables, 
the most difficult part is the graph. Graph of function. The graph of function of uh, in two <coughs> in two D. That's function of functions of two variables. That is the point x y and f x y. All porn all points x y and f x y. Uh, for example, uh, z. For example z equals x square plus y square z should be positive because that's x x square plus y uh, x square plus y square uh, which um, we mentioned uh, as a, a quadric function that's that uh, this function the graph of this function is a parabolic because we let x equals 0, that is y, uh, z equals y square. That is z equals y square. And uh, uh, when y equals 0, that is x equals square. So the, the graph is like this, like a ball. <coughs> The x, y belongs to all real number, but z belongs to uh, <coughs> but z belongs to uh, r positive the positive uh, the positive real axis that that is the domain domain is x, y belongs to r two and uh, range. Range that that z belongs to r positive <coughs> the real the positive real real axis. Uh, for graph or function, we always use uh, we always use the level set or the um, the traces to graph the, the graph or function or graph the function of several variables and uh, there's another example if z equals square root x square plus y square we know that the, this graph uh, this uh, this surface is a revolution a surface of revolution the generating the generating curve is z equals y or z equals x. z equals y is this line. But this uh, the surface of this uh, of this function and the graph of this function just has a positive part for positive z x part uh, z part z should be greater or equal to zero is a revolution that's is that's a core uh, we graph a, a function of several several variables we use the uh, uh, definition of a uh, definition of a level set or the concept of level set. What is level set? For a function z equals f x y, the level set the level set is z equals some constant equals some constant. For uh, for different cons uh, uh, different constant, we have a di uh, we have different curves. For example, uh, function 
the function equals square root x square plus y square. When z equals zero for n uh, for some constant, that's the level set. Z equals zero, we got x y equals zero. The only point is the or origin. And z equals one, we got x square plus y square square root of x square plus y square equals zero uh, equals one. This means that we can take the square both sides. That is x square plus y square equals one. So at z equals one, we got like is a circle. Z equals zero, we got this point. And uh, if z equals two, we got x square plus y square take the square root equals two. That means x square plus y square equals four. So if z equals two, then the radius is two. And uh, we connect that's the core and uh, this is the level set, the definition of a level set and for z equals x square plus y square then z equals zero we got x square plus y square equals zero so that is x y equals zero zero z equals one we got x square plus y square equals one that's our circle its radius is one and if z equals two we got x square plus y square equals two. The radius, sorry, the radius is square root square root two, and z equals three. We got x square plus y square equals three. The radius is square root three, and if z equals four. We got x square plus y square equals 4. The radius is 2. If z equals 1, we got the circle. If x equals 2, the circle is not... The, the, the radius is not... Uh, uh, the, uh, the fraction as uh, a proportion is not as the proportion of the z and they equal three the radius only only uh, increase a little and z equals four that's two so we connect connect to this Uh, connect to the to to all the uh, uh, level so uh, level level circles. We got the the graph of this of this function. Yeah, it's take a maybe take a lot of time to familiar with the graph of the uh, of the function of several several variables. We need to uh, practice more. That's the functions of functions of uh, several variables.